at there. That's right, it rained. I'm trying to keep this video short. We're done for the week. Uh, it hit 90, I don't know, 97, about two days ago. We got another, I don't know if you can see it, another thunderstorm coming. Okay, so 123 hours these Ballard Ripper blades have on them, right? And as you can see, the just like what happens in all of our blades here, with um, in our clay soil with a lot of granite, the uh, lift or sail portion, this happens, I call these shark teeth, starts to erode away. Uh, the blade surface could keep going if I sharpened it, but I'm going to be replacing these with the copperheads. Uh, why am I doing that? Well, I bought these copperheads before I ever bought these um, Ballard Ripper blades, and I want to try and just see um, what kind of a difference, if any, these make. So I'm going to be swapping these out, but I'm very impressed with the Ripper blades getting 123 hours. Um, this happens to be the newest trim star. It is absolutely filthy. Uh, it actually has 123 hours, and this is the one that Josh uses. Um, there's our typical deck from Cutting Bermuda. There's nothing to scrape. In that respect, we are fortunate. So, these copperheads are really heavy. So, they're uh, a, little a little bit wider than the... Ripper blades. But I'm excited to see how they do. So I've got uh, two more over there that I'm going to be replacing. And I will report back once we get some hours on them, how we like them. Do we like them better than the Ballard Ripper blades? Are they about the same? I can't remember the price. I think they were com very competitive with it. Um, but anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about on that video, today's video. So I will uh, see you guys on the next one.